Hey, what's up guys? Xenon Great here. Today we're going to talk about Lord of Sticks. Oh man, this is rough. So both the Conqueror and Wasteland Titan, I was able to get Triple S on. I wish it still showed, but man, this Lord of Sticks is difficult. And really the only way you'll notice is by using Sadie. I mean, that's really what all the top ranks use. It looks like Deegs got away without using Sadie. Maybe uh, King Har's, his, uh, you know, shield and whatnot helps. Uh, I might have to give that a try, but I'm just going to show you my team. I was trying to take down the shield at times, but that kind of just didn't work. Um, you know, there is a team that you can take down the shield a few times, but you don't get enough damage off. And my problem here is that I just don't have constants. So I can't, you know, get that, um, okay. So everyone's covered by Sadie now you can see, but I just cannot for the life of me get the, uh, like attack buff. Is that what I was going to mention? constants and whatnot and the attack buff um the thing is it's like i do not enough damage you know on these phases and with people having constants it gives them that massive boost of hey by the way you oh was that okay that was just right Like, oh, here's this, uh, you know, attack boost on someone that can be placed in the ground. You know, there's so many tiles that are covered by these random things where it's like, okay, I'm not gonna, you know, be able to place Dolores. Uh, especially if you're using the Sadie strat. I mean, Dolores would be perfect there. She has the same range and everything as Sadie. Oh, shoot. I just wasted that. Why would I do that? I have to restart. I'm going to try and go through this quick to kind of show you. Okay. So let's get this off. Try and take him down. Not enough. So we're going to pop this when it gets to like the word demise. Try and get the time on that perfect. Uh, so we maybe we'll take it down again. Okay, and now we save the ultimates. But I mean, you can kind of see where this is going. Anytime shield is up, you know, we're not doing anything. And then it gets down to demise, you pop Sadie, and it's just kind of rinse and repeat from there. It's kind of disgusting. I didn't realize that you could get debuffs on him, at least not in this phase, but in the other one, you could before the boss rush started. Okay. Sadie, with the help of Elowin, has her ultimate up. We pop it. Everyone goes. Yeah, this is the hard one. And Deegs actually posted in the uh, in-game suggestions on Discord ways to fix this because it is terrible. If you don't have Sadie, I do not know a strat for you, to be quite honest. Because uh, you still you have to take down that first shield, too. I'm still going to use Silas. So this is kind of the strat that I use. I mean, definitely pay to win strat given that it's basically well, it is all legendaries and it's not like, you know, everyone will have this, but I mean, how else are you going to get to the top, right? Maybe this is a new record for me, or about to see. 
my last record I think was like B plus. I think I'm still gonna give it B plus to be honest. Yeah, this is just way too difficult. It, I mean, it would be a lot better if they just decreased the number of hits for the shield. Like you cannot do that. I had to bring Cetram. Um, what's his face? I can't believe I forgot the werewolf's name. What's his name? Deimos. That's his name. Yeah, CB plus. Is that a new best? I have no idea. But what's sad is, you know, you get a B plus, which, wow. And then you look at top 3%. That means most people, you know, are way down below. And I think when I first tried it and I just quit out, I had an F. And it still put me in like the top 40%, which means almost 50% of the players can't even break the first shield. Which is kind of ridiculous. No, it is ridiculous. Yeah, see, these teams, uh, especially Calypso, A5 Calypso, she gets the five soul, whatever, crystal things. Those things shoot along with her. That's six hits per, like, times she shoots. And then Deimos, his ultimate, super fast attack speed. And Cetrium, super fast attack speed. Like, regardless, even with those teams, they still had a half. And those teams actually are shield-breaking teams. But anyways, guys, I'm going to talk about the other ones later. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was interesting to see the way Lord of Sticks works and how terrible it is. See you in the next one. Bye.